गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन क्लास ट्वेल्थ सब्जेक्ट बायोलॉजी एवरी वन टूडे वी विल हैव वी विल रीड सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स चैप्टर टू सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स लेट्स बिगिन फ्लावर्स फ्लावर्स आर फ्लावरिंग प्लांट All flowering plants and geosperm show sexual reproduction. Flowers are the sites of sexual reproduction. Flowers are modified condensed reproductive shoot. Structure of flower: sepal, petal, style, stigma, ovary, ovary, filament. anther and filament it is a part of stamen stigma style and ovary is carpel petal unit of corolla two hole and sepal unit of calyx sepal it is a unit of calyx petal plus sepal it is called tepal the first term calyx sepal is protective the flowers non essential flower organs non essential flower organs petal sepal petal holding petal helping attractive pollinator sepal only protective flower in bud condition essential flower organs androecium unit of stamen it is male sex organ <coughs> it is male sex organ anther and filament loop to dithicus dia ka matlab to thicus ka matlab chamber to dithicus anther and monothicus one chamber For example, China rose family Malvaceae, Gynoecium. Gynoecium. Gynoecium and Rusium, the. and rusium consist of whole of stamen stamen consist of filaments and anther filament and anther to so, uh, and rusium for example filament is attached to the thalamus or the petal anther typical anther is bilobed each lobe is dithicus consist of tuthicum ye maine aapko bata hi diya they are separated by longitudinal groove running lengthwise microsporangia located at the corner to each theca they further develop to pollen sac which contain the pollen grains anther and filaments b figure <coughs> pollen grain pollen sac line of dehiscence filament stalk gynoecium gynoecium female parts unit pistil or carpel female sex organ stigma receptive parts style ovary ovary and ovule ovary fruit ovule seeds structure of microsporangium microsporangium the microsporangium is surrounded by four wall layer epidermis endothica middle layer and septum as septum the outer three wall layer perform the function of protection and help in dehiscence of anther to release the pollen the inner most wall layer is the 
टैप्टम इज द टैप्टम इन द यंग एंथर एज द मैच्योर डेहाइड्रेट एंड माइक्रोस्पोर डिसोसिएट फ्रॉम ईच अदर एंड डेवलप इन टू पॉलिन ग्रेन इन द यंग एंथर द स्पोरोजीनस टिश्यूज फॉर्म द सेंटर ऑफ ईच माइक्रो स्पोरेंजियम कैपेबल ऑफ गिविंग राइस टू अ माइक्रोस्पोर टेट्रैट्स माइक्रोस्पोर टेट्रैट माइक्रोस्पोरोजेनेसिस शो इन दिस द फिगर कनेक्टिव एपिडर्मिस इंडोथीशियम स्पोरोजेनस टिश्यू टैप्टम एंड मिडिल लेयर Each one is microsporogenesis. As the anther develop the cell of sporogenous tissue under whose mitotic division form microspore tetrad. Each one is a potential pollen microscope mother cell. As developed occur in the anther the sporogenous tissues meiosis of from माइक्रोस्पोर टेट्रा टेट्रैटमियोसिस द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ माइक्रोस्पोर फ्रॉम अ पॉलिन मदर सेल्थ्रोमियोसिस इज कार्ड माइक्रोस्पोरोजेनेसिस द ईच सेल ऑफ स्पोरोजीनस टिश्यूज हैज कैपेसिटी टू गिव राइज टू टेट्रैट्स ईच सेल्स पोटेंशियल पॉलिन मदर सेल्स ईच अदर एंड डेवलप इन टू पॉलिन ग्रेन द माइक्रोस्पोर्स एज दे आर परफॉर्म्ड आर अरेंज इन अ क्लस्टर ऑफ फोर सेल द माइक्रोस्पोर टेट्रैट्स शो इज द फिगर ऑफ फिगर ए फिगर ए आपका है टी एस ऑफ मैच्योर एंथर फिगर बी है इन लार्ज व्यू ऑफ वन माइक्रोस्पोर एंजियम शोइंग वॉल लेयर एंड सी फिगर इज सी सी है आर डेहिस्ड डेहिस्ड एंथर डेज एंथर इन साइड ईच माइक्रोस्पोरेंजियम सेवरल थाउजेंड्स ऑफ माइक्रोस्पोर्स और पॉलिन ग्रेन सेवरल ग्रेन आर फॉर्म्ड दैट आर रिलीज विद द डेहिस ऑफ एंथर पॉलिन ग्रेन्स इज अ माइक्रोस्कोपिक बॉडी दैट कंटेन द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सेल ऑफ अ प्लांट इट is plant fertilization process next pollen grain show in this the figure pollen grain pollen grain are generally spherical measuring about Twenty five fifty micrometer m m in diameter. The inside of the grain contain inside of the grain contain cytoplasm along with the tube cell. Tube cell. figure in large view of a pollen grain tetrad outer layer is exine and intine inner layer and stage is stage of microspore maturing into a pollen grain vacuoles nucleus asymmetric spindle and vegetative and generative cells 
inside pollen grains there are two nuclei one nucleus is the shape of a cricket ball and an other nucleus which is shaped like a rugby ball this nucleus is known as tube nucleus and the nucleus that is shaped like rugby ball is known as a generative cell <coughs> generative cell exine 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 the outer layer of the wall of pollen grain the exine is composed of the most durable organic known is sporolenin it is also called exine exine outer layer and fibrous tissues two part mein hote hain and germ pore pollen grain exine has prominent aperture called germ in time the inner in time the inner wall of pollen grain is called in time it is thin and continuous layer made up of cellulose and packed in the cytoplasm of pollen grain in surrounded by a plasma membrane vegetative cell and generative cell vegetative cell generative cell vegetative produce an elongated pollen tube a gametophytic cell to deliver the male gametes to embryo sac generative cell produce two sperm cells male gametophytes pollen grain of seeds plants that divided to give rise directly or indirectly to sperm sperm in 60% of angiosperm pollen grain are shed at two cells stage while other generative cell undergoes mitosis to form two male gametes three cell stage pollen grains after they shed depend upon temperature humidity range 30 minutes to few months gynoecium's and formations of female gametophytes it may be monocarpally pillary and yani one pistil and multi carpellary many pistil multi carpellary the pistil may be fused in one syncarpus and free apocarpus show in this the figure each pistil consist of stigma style ovary stigma receives the pollen grain receives parts style elongated cylinder parts below the stigma ovary bulge basal part containing the placenta which is located inside ovary and locule cavity the placenta contain is the megasporangium or ovule stigma style ovary and thalamus this is thalamus this is ovary and this is a style and this part is stigma thank you class we have continue this topic is next lecture thank you